So now just how popular is Bernie Sanders tax plan and how does it compare with the other candidates? Well, see, that was a question that was asked by a new wallet hub survey monkey poll. Now, uh, let's get to the results, shall we? About 23% like the Democratic presidential candidates tax strategy the best, according to this survey released today. Now, before I get into um, the rest of that numbers, let me start out with the Republicans, because I want to give you some contrast here. Now, uh, Republicans, of course, claim that their tax plans will unleash Americans' business potential, uh, allowing all Americans to benefit by essentially towering the rich or showering the rich with more tax cuts. Now, they're saying, oh, well, Americans will love our tax plan uh, because all you have to do in the case of Ted Cruz is write it in the back of a postcard. Oh, it's a little postcard. You just fill out a couple of lines and you're good. You, 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 you've done your taxes, right? That's it. That's it. They think that's going to be super popular because it's easy. And don't get me wrong. People like easy things. However, the numbers of how many people actually like Ted Cruz's plan might shock you. But first, let's go to Kasich. Now, <clears throat> well, actually, before I go to uh, everyone else, uh, I do want to say that pollsters found that roughly 59% of Americans believe their current taxes are too high with that, uh, with that uh, context there. Now, followed by 36% who feel they are just right, and about 5% who actually think that their taxes are too low. Oh, well, God bless that 5%. Especially if you're one of the people making over a million dollars a year. No, God bless, man. At least, at least it's that high, right? Now, on the Republicans... John Kasich actually has the least popular tax plan. They got about 5% of the total vote. Ted Cruz, Mr. Postcard, gets fourth with nearly 8%, and Donald Trump ranks third with 12%. So there's what's left of the Republican field. Not exactly swimming in popularity. Now, coming in second is actually Hillary Clinton's tax plan, which ranks 13%. 13% of Americans are in favor of her tax plan. And finally, Bernie Sanders, his tax plan comes in first with 23% of Americans favoring his tax plan. Now, here comes Bernie. <laughs> now, this is among people who've actually looked at the candidate's tax plan. And when people actually know the details and they look at it, it turns out that Bernie crushes with the public. Now. That said, you still have a huge majority of people that have no idea what, whose tax plan is better. And that's about 34% have no idea which tax plan is the best. Now, I would attribute that to, know, to not really knowing the details or what it would mean for the taxpayer, how much you would pay, uh, or how much they would actually save under each plan. Now, I guess in order to understand that, uh, you kind of got to go in a little bit of the weeds um, and, you know, they can get complicated. And it doesn't help but we, when you have uh, think tanks and misleading studies out there that are all contradicting each other, especially from Republicans and uh, other, you know, in, in news media. Now, remember, I mentioned news media because you had the constant framing of Senator Sanders in the debates that, quote, under Sanders, he will raise your taxes. Bernie Sanders will raise your taxes. Hmm. Well, kind of, but not really. See, under Sanders, and I pointed this out before, people making under $250,000 a year will not have an increase in their tax rates. And remember, this is under a marginal tax rate system. So anything over that bracket, you pay more. But anyway, marginal tax rates. Not only that, but here's the other thing, right? Even if you do pay more, which people making under $250,000 won't, you'll actually get something in return for paying those taxes instead of funding, you know, bullshit wars in the Middle East and all that other corporate welfare that we're giving out. And you'll actually get something in return instead, like healthcare, which of course saves you money because you'll no longer have to pay for very, very expensive uh, health insurance premiums and co-pays to a for-profit health insurance corporation. Well, it's no wonder that the people who actually know about his plan prefer it. But anyway, 
Now, Monday's results also show that 52% believe that there is room for improvement at the IRS. Huh, half of Americans are like, hey, look, the IRS sucks, but don't worry, it can be improved. Republican heads are exploding because they're the ones who hate the IRS so much. About 20% think the agency is actually doing a fine job, while nearly 3% said it's doing a great job. Can you imagine being one of the people? IRS, great job, guys. You're doing fantastic. Love it. <laughs> Look, man, I guess. God bless. <laughs> Now, uh, on the other side of the coin, you have 11% that say, look, we don't like the IRS, but we realize that we actually need it. In fact, they hate it, but they need it. And about 14% think that the agency should be abolished, no more IRS. So now while that gets pretty good applause lines at the uh, Republican debates, getting rid of the IRS is not only ridiculous, but actually pretty unpopular, as you can see. And besides, how the fuck are you going to uh, collect the taxes? Dropbox? Series. They never say who's going to actually process the returns. Anyway, there it is. Uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, by far, has the most popular tax plan among all the 2016 presidential candidates.